Hello, and welcome back to Witcher Realby. Zoltan. Get out. Got the card. Eh. Hey. Also. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? Got one concept for you. The big four. Siggy Ruven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horse Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate? But with four individuals. No idea. <laughs> well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horse Son recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. And he's dead. <laughs> hmm. Gwent? Maybe. Round of Gwent? I never refuse. Eh. Yeah. Let's play. Okay, may as well put out our scorch in. Oh, special car limit reached. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Uh, not important. Yeah, let's start. Uh, clear. Okay, that's better. Well, I <laughs> caught that one back. Damn it. Oh well. <clears throat> Okay, if we knock down four, it's gonna be equal. We may as well. Or just use this. That's gonna be better. I think that should be. No, it's still. The other two. Yeah, we'll have to use this card as well. Yeah, now we won. Alright. Got any good cards here? Yeah, one. Okay. Let's try. Strong start. <clears throat> okay, these two guys. Answer of our own. Oh wow. What does that do? Destroy your enemies. Strongest close combat unit if a combined strength of all. How specific? <laughs> is our close combat unit is 10 or more. Well, good, we don't. Okay. Oh, 
adds double up at most, most powerful row. Don't have much. Well, may as well pass. Damn it. Ah, oh, come on. Probably should have uh, pulled out on that one. Well, <laughs> neither of us has anything. Yeah. It's gonna be a draw. Ah, uh, well, mm, one more, I guess. That was close. I should have not, you know. Rushed so much. Four. Of one card should help. <laughs> hmm. How about the freeze? least one uh, one strong play here uh. well we could uh, think do it like that well if we scorch and put that he's still up in front so to speak Hmm. Yeah, probably gonna do that still. Use a trebuchet to equalize. All right. we may as well play this in advance I doubt we can get the uh, enemy card <laughs> nope <laughs> Need to play for time. I wish he would play another card worth of five. Mm. Yeah, that's about it. Well, technically, we can play. Then use a decoy. And then use a scorch. Unless he has a scorch as well. Okay. Doesn't seem to be the case. Decoy. Oh, that's just perfect. He's playing right into my trap. Aha. Okay, now scorch you. Ah, 
I got nothing to get scorched. Alrighty. Wait, what did this do? Oh, all our units in the same row. Tough luck, dude. Ah, oh, damn it. I rushed a bit of fast. But he has zero cards, so I may as well. Yeah, I won this. I'm gonna win the next round, simply. Because we have a card and he doesn't. Yeah, it worked out. Here we go. Hurrah! Seems I won. A late fucking shock given your frankly amateur dick. <laughs> Here, take this card. You need it. You Thanks, do well mate. to fix your collection. It's downright porous. <laughs> Don't need you bringing the shame a good dandelion for that. <laughs> Skimming something off your mate Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Aye. Thanks for, you know. <laughs> Or of a tip. A uh, Squirtle card, I guess. Okay. Zoltan. Get out. About those cards. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea elves are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? He's dead. Zed's dead. Yeah. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. <clears throat> what about the other cards? The ledger. And this business is getting dangerous. Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Besides, I'm certain he snuffed his killers out on the spot. So why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Okay. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. He did. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Mm. Mm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson in the Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. A Ravi? Who's that? Ravi? Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. Okay, and the Caesar? Who's Caesar Pilsen? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fella once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Angler's Club. The pride of the Pontar. Huh. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. I always see the bright side. <laughs> Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first... I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Okay. Yeah, we're all in the same place. May as well. <clears throat> Just a shortcut quickly. Yeah, getting terribly sidetracked. That's how SLP rolls. <laughs> well, it was kind of on the way.
Fast travel. Hmm. Yes, Kelly is a fancy place. Wait, coming of Ragnarug. <laughs> Ragnarok. Okay. Hmm. Let's go there. Oh, come on. Do you really need that long low time? <laughs> ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been there yet. I haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the camp there. Quite sneaky. Uh, how about buying? Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said Caesar never sell Fringilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. Dude. Alright. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. The explorer. I suspect it's either to do with cabinets. buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Alright. Caesar Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Um. Oh, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. <laughs> I say, Geralt Fish? Yeah, drowners, <laughs> mainly. Yeah, cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the Ponta! You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! <laughs> so what for Zanders and eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Recent early isn't a word. Eh. Who'd you bring along, Chivi? Some plowing grammar purist? <laughs> well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need live bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morhen? Bombs. Bombs. How's <laughs> that? Both and had many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. 
Get out! Go fetch us another bottle. Right. Uh. Right. You can see the bottom of this one. Sure, blame that on us too. So, where okay. are we going to go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Let's start to look around. Hey, what's that? that? Looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Wow. Drawer is open. Hmm. Sneaky like that. Well, he hit it well. Nothing really of worth. Ah oh, well. <clears throat> there was something around here. Aha. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. We got the key. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Oh yeah. Okay. Nothing here really. Guess it's upstairs. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Fancy. Batier de Rideau's dagger. Eh. A set of Aranahid's necklace. I wonder if it's the real thing. Eh. Dude. Nabbing. What's that? Portrait of Emperor Amir. Temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Replica. Armor of the Seventh Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. All right. You walk him to vet skull. Hmm. Pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. All right. Hey. Ah, here's Fringilla. Hmm. Let's let's leave the goblet. <laughs> and the casket. All right. <clears throat> What's in here? Ah, quest degree. Get rid of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Interesting. Yeah, I guess this is it. About those sword dagger things. Oh. Okay. Let's move out, I think. Oh, that's a picture from before. Alright, let's move out. Can that help ourselves a little bit more? <laughs> Zoltan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. With a message for you from the boss. Message? Oh, damn it. What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. I if any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him. And you two, get lost. I don't think so. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the witcher. Well... Up to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Ah, uh, you're asking for it. <laughs> Not the best, damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
damn it. Hell, you got them straight. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Huh? Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Yeah, we we'll said this button. Ah, uh, uh. uh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Uh huh. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, the Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger. The rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Eh. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Uh, if you say so. Eh. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. Time to visit Ravi. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. Alright. Okay. I think this is a good place to cut the episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.